Hello. We're going to do the area of these triangles. And you know that, that's why you're here, isn't it? So, number one. I suppose what I really ought to show you is the area of a triangle is half times the base times the height, and that's at 90 degrees, the perpendicular height. So the first one we've got is got a 90 degree angle there, and it's 9 centimetres and 8 centimetres and 11.83 centimetres. So half times 8 times 9. I'm going to do half times 8 is 4, so it's 4 times 9, which equals, ooh, I think it's 36, isn't it? 36 centimetres squared. Now let's choose another colour, because that's the most important thing, isn't it? Green. Number two. We have another right angle triangle. And this is 17, and that's 12. So half times the base times the height. Is that spelt right? If it's wrong, just shout at the computer. Go on, shout. Louder than that. So half times 12 um, is 6 times the height is 17. Ooh. If I do that in my head, I think that's 102. But don't do things in your head if you're in any doubt. It doesn't It's usually quicker just to do it. 7 times 6 is 42. 1 times 6 is 6. And 4 is 10. So 102 centimetres squared. Next one, number 3. Ah, now this is an isosceles triangle. That comes from the Greek isosane skelos legs. So, now it's not desperately clear, but that's eight, that's eight, six, and the perpendicular height, now, yeah, so that's at that bit there, is 7.42. So it's half times the base times the height. So half times, I'm still going to write half times six, I think, times 7.42 which does relate to this height here that it's straddled a bit across. So I'm going to do 3 times 7.42. Off we go. Um, 7.42. Notice I've spread this one out. This is a bit messy. This is nicely spread out. Times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. 7 times 3 is 21. And 1 is 22. How many numbers after the decimal point? 1, 2. So count it in. Now if you just brought it down, you got it in the right place. But through sheer dumb luck. Shim dumb luck won't always come with you. So centimetres squared. 22.26 centimetres squared. Next one, number 4. And we'll have a change of colour, I think. We've got, it's another isosceles triangle. ISO same skelos legs. 11, 11, 9 centimetres. Ah, now you can see how if this caused you trouble because it's, it's a bit of a guessing game as to what number equals what, isn't it? 0 0.04. So it's half times the base times the height. Mmm. I think we can agree the numbers aren't so kind here, are they? So it's half times 9 times 10.04. This time I'm going to do 10.04 times 9 and then I'm going to divide that by 2. Otherwise I'm going to end up with 4.5 times that, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to use this number here because it's there, times 9. 4 times 9 is 36. 0 times 9 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 0 times 9 is 0. Did I get that right before? I didn't. Do you mind if I just check? 4 times 3 is 36. 0 times 9 
is naught plus the three, good. Naught times nine is naught, and one times nine is nine. Rough rule of thumb, 10 times nine is 90. And we've got one, two numbers off the decimal, so we bounce it in, one, two, there it goes. But we want to do a half times that. So I'm just gonna get rid of that three and then divide it by two like this. Then I don't have to write it out again because I know from my own point of view, I quite often make mistakes at that point. Two, though this isn't very elegant, is it? Two into nine goes four, remainder one. Two into 10 goes five, bring down the decimal. Two into three goes once, remainder one. Two into 16 goes eight. So the answer we want is 45, point one eight centimeters squared now for the next one hmm should we just do a quick diagram that's five that's four <coughs> I do beg your pardon that's six and then this was two point eight eight put that point in so it's nice and clear. What is the area? So it's half, we're getting bored with this, times the base times the height. So it's half times six, there's the base, times the height, that's the perpendicular height at 90 degrees, times 2.88. This time I'm going to do half times six, beg your pardon. <coughs> I've been eating chocolate. Don't tell anyone. And nobody will notice that my enormous bottom has got a little bit more enormous. Half times six is three. So it's three times 2.88. I've spread this out because I'm just going to do it like this. Um, eight times three is, it's not very elegant having that next to each other but we know what we're doing. Eight times three is 24. Eight times three is 24 and two is 26. Two times three is six and two is eight. How many numbers have we got after the decimal? Mm -hmm. One, two, so we go one, two, and it lands up there. So it's 8.64, does that sound about right? Three, times six is 18, halved is nine, that's about nine, isn't it? Centimetres squared. Always have a sort of a vague common sense check, it helps. And I think we've got one more here. What colour do you, ooh, you never said red, did you? It's a rather cheeky red too. Look at that. Da. I'm not very good with reds, it sends my dyslexic going, dyslexia going nuts. Right, this looks a bit like a right angle. Of course, accurate drawing is the most important thing in the world. Six centimetres, 22. I suppose we should write centimetres on each of these, shouldn't we? 23 centimetres. And then this one in the middle is 22.4 oh, centimetres. So you've remembered it. Half times the base times the height. Oh, look. I made you a cup of tea and I forgot to give it to you. There's your cup of tea. You've got um no. pheasants. Aren't they great? Oh, sorry, I should have given that to you earlier, shouldn't I? How rubbish. Half times base times height. So what is our Do you know what I'm fed up with this red already? Choose another colour for me, would you? Ooh, very tasteful. Half times and the base is six and this time the height is 22.4 you can leave that naught off the end it makes noise otherwise you can add noughts till cows come home and there's no reason why it has to be in two decimal places half of six is or should we do a half of this one that would be more exciting wouldn't it um you can halve anything you like you can times these and halve it at the end or you can halve either of these don't halve both of them uh, i'm going to do a half times six times 11.2 because that's oh no i can't do that because now i've halved it haven't i 
Have you thought about getting a tutor that's any good? It could help, you know. You know, seriously, it could help. Off we go. Two times six is... Twelve? One times six is six and one is seven. One times six is six. Does that seem about right? One number after the decimal, bounce it in. Yes, about 11 times, 11 times 6 would be 66, and it's a little bit more, so that's fine, isn't it? Centimetres squared. ta -da! How exciting. Should we award ourselves something? Give us a number between 1 and 16. OK, off we go. Beautifully chosen, my child. Beautifully chosen. See you soon.